episode number 136. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Daniel Anthony. Hello, Norman. <laughs> Hi there, Dan. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm surviving. <laughs> Pretty well. It's been a while, yo. It's been a while. How are you yes, doing? Yes, it has. As I said, really, I'm really trying to keep up. Mm, the last time you were on, you were representing Can You. So, mm-hmm. how's that been doing? Uh, can You is looking into ideas for next year. Well, not much on my side because they're doing it down there. So, they're brainstorming it. Okay. Something might come out, hopefully, by before the end of this year. Hope to hear some good news and I hope I get to be there this time. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so, also joining us is Rom. Sup? Hey, Rom, how are you doing? Slowly but surely, yeah. <laughs> so, how's your day, Ben? Eh, it's been alright, it's been alright. Just checking out some owls now. Wait, owls? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> owls? I love owls. Oh, ah. Wait, in, in real life or in the computer? Of course, in the computer. Where do you see real life in the city center? I don't know. You live in Lithuania. Who knows? You might have a binocular and spying on owls. I wish I had. You know, that's what Americans say about us Malaysians. <laughs> oh, you have buildings. You have shopping complexes here. I didn't know that. <laughs> you know what? You I thought, thought you every- live in the tree or something like that. <laughs> Wait, you thought everything disappeared or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they, th- they think they think we're just like lush acres of greenery and forest. Suddenly, two rockets in the middle of the city. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, anywho, this week we don't have a guest, but we have our old friend Dan back. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Dan, it's been a while, and we have new people coming on the show or new mm-hmm. listeners on the show. So, you have been off since when? Um, February, something like that. Uh, yeah, off as a regular since Feb. Mm. So, we need to ask you the two important questions, just for a refresher for those who might not know. Favourite character? Still Pinky, forever will be Pinky. Oh, really now? Pinky? Why Pinky? Uh, uh, okay, where do I start? <laughs> Good lord, you know, you're asking me this question, I'm staring at my shrine of Pinky Pie right in front of me, so... <laughs> yeah, they're all staring at me, I better not let them down. I like having fun. <laughs> I mean, okay, fine, fine. Let me, let me think of something to say. Good lord, I haven't answered this in so long. No, I, I really like uh, her character, how she's she's really random and stuff like that. And I can be like that at times. I know how I tend to piss people off with my annoying personality. So, yeah, you know, she speaks to me on a different level. Okay, that's good, that's good. And favorite episode? Favorite episode... Oh uh, god, it keeps changing. And uh, my last one that I updated, if I'm not mistaken, was Double Rainboom. Double Rainboom? Du- Double Rainboom is not official. Yes, yeah, not. That's why. <laughs> you oh. jerk. <laughs> Screw the rules. Um, there is that. Uh, but uh, after season four, mm-hmm. I would say um, Pinkie Pride came really, really close. Mm-hmm. So, Pinkie Pride then, no? Uh, crap. I'm trying. Or is it to... just a friend indeed? That's a staple good one. Yes, good. Yeah, the friend indeed. Yeah, that was the one that uh, still really takes the cake. Yeah, I have an awesome song. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, you. Uh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, man, uh, I'm making puns without realizing. You know, oi, oi, oi. This know one's for you, Robert fast. Patrician. <laughs> this one's for you. Oh, you. But anywho, well, good to know you're sticking... You're, Good to know that you're sticking to the status quo. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anywho, let's move on to the next topic. And Rom, news time. So soon? Okay. Mm-hmm. In today's news time, Hub Network employees get laid off after Discovery family transition. I told you it was a nuke. <laughs> told you! Told you! Told you! Anyway, as of October 13th, the Hub Network has changed it to Discovery Family. Shows that we enjoy and love are fortunately still on the network. Unfortunately, the people who work under the Hub Network are laid off. So, yeah, I mean, it's not... How do I put this? It's told not you. Unex- yeah, I mean, no, you didn't. You're, you're yes, sorry. I did. I told you it was a nuke when channels, you know, get changed. You're talking this. about the shows. You're not talking about the employees. But this is kind of, well... Um, it was it was obvious. Yeah, I mean it's obvious. It because... was not even worth mentioning because it's obvious. Yeah, I know because that's the thing. Like every company, when they do a merger, some people get laid off. Or in this case, it's kind of uh. A... This was a royal flush. Not really, because how I mentioned this last week that 
the uh, Hasbro, Hasbro put in money into Discovery to mm-hmm. build the hub, and Discovery got some money to buy back some shares from the Hasbro and change it into Discovery Family. It's still the show we love on the normal channel and the same announcers there. It's just that most of the crew, well, not really most of the crew, I mean, all of the hub crew are, well, laid off because Discovery is moving to the East Coast, if I read right. Uh-huh. So it's... Un- how to put this? So most of the workers in the current location are not needed. Yeah, it's cost versus thing you know it's a cost saving thing the things people do in the name of cost saving true true but hey those guys have a lot of experience working in a successful television studio for four years they'll bounce back they'll bounce back yeah i mean it um it's not as easy as it sounds i mean as much as it usually is the case it's not as easy as it sounds Mm. it takes a while i mean you're gonna spend like a month like okay what the hell am i gonna do now (laughs) Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's true. That's I mean, true. for those who actually, you know, had time to heed the 15-day or 30-day, depending on whatever the contract says about dismissal, they've got, what, 15 days to look for a new job? That is not enough time. Mm, true, true. But, you know, with some recommendations and whatnot, or even maybe a move to the Discovery. East Coast. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's we'll a see. hell of a move. True, true. But uh, you know what? Those people, we wish them luck. They give us good, happy time. So, yeah, good luck, guys. And well, as long as DHX is still around, I'm fine to be oh, honest. Yeah. True, 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 true. Yeah, it, like, like I said before, I mean, I have you went to the hubnetwork.com <laughs> because they're still there, they haven't changed the domain yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to go. I mean, it, it's because domains are renewed on an annual basis, mm. so yeah, yeah, and still, the how many what you might call this. The, all the programs are there. The website still looks like normal except for the Hub logo changing into the Discovery Family logo. And funny thing, have you seen the Hub Network's Facebook page? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how they're going to change that one. <laughs> they can't because you have too many likes. Oh, God. <laughs> when you have more than 200 likes on your uh, Facebook page, mm-hmm. you cannot change your name. <laughs> ah, you well. have to move. Oh, God, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> well, they can pay money, right? They, they have I the cash. I don't think so, because uh, what happened is Cancel at University actually had that when uh, our campaign, our teaser campaign, which is Something Awesome is Coming, it raised about 300 likes. Then we decided, okay, time to change name. And then Facebook's like, no. <laughs> no. You have too many people who like your page. Because they're afraid of what happens if, let's just say, you have like a page that says, uh, oh, come and like cute kittens. And then after you get a thousand people, you change it to, you know, some undesirable body part <laughs> okay okay but in this case couldn't discovery pay off facebook for this kind of extra service possible right it's possible but the thing is i don't see the blue tick on their page so i don't think they'll do it mm. you know oh. facebook has the verified blue tick system mm-hmm. just like twitter so yeah they don't have the blue tick on their page so i don't think they are actually in contact with facebook or planning to do it anytime soon mm. oh well it's still cute i, I like it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but anywho, moving on, Rom. And next news, news on Jan Animation's situation. If you haven't, haven't heard, eight months ago, Jan Animations received a CND letter from Hasbro's legal department. This prevented him from doing any My Little Pony related videos on his YouTube channel. Recently, Jan posted an update regarding this matter and also addressing a few other things. As for now, Hasbro and Jan are trying to work out an agreement where it is beneficial for both parties. Links can be found in the show notes below. Yay, Jen is working again. That's awesome. Woohoo. Well, kind of working and stuff. To be honest, I don't think he stopped. Oh, yeah, true that, true that. But no, if you look at the update that he did, he kind of mentioned that he's working on three projects. Two he cannot say, and one is Tome. It's a MMORPG kind of web series. It's a really good one. You should take a look, see. It's fun, and it's all about... Um, playing games online, something similar to Arc, Arc Online, something like that. You know, stuff. Okay. I don't know. I I don't watch the anime. I just watch this one. It's a short, fifteen or ten minute animation stuff. It's really fun. Uh, but still, but still. I don't know. It's like I mean, okay, la, I'll put this down in a simple way. It's like they issued him a CND, and then they they just realized maybe you know. 
as much as yeah, the legal thing stands, you know, they probably stepped on a landmine in a way because you know how the, the fans just blew up when this happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Most of the fans blew up when this happened. So yeah, now they're trying to you know rectify a little bit and uh, trying to nip things up after pick, uh, you know picking up the pieces after what happened. Mm-hmm. I mean that's what it sounds like to me. I know that, that you know it's not probably not necessarily the case, but you know. I studied PR. I'm a mar- I'm a media student. It sounds a lot like something like that. Well, from his explanation in his video, he said this uh, Hasbro Legal contacted them, issued a C and D, and yeah, okay, they heed they heed. Is that the word heed? Heed heed. That means you follow. Yeah. Yeah. They heed it, and uh, Jen emailed or Jen contacted Hasbro, and Hasbro said, "What? We didn't know anything of this. It's all Hasbro Legal." And now they're talking and eight months of work and talk, you know, talk, talk, it's, talk. It's funny how the show that we watch promotes bureaucracy. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Don't get me started on bureaucracy. Oh, oh I think I can go on and on <laughs> oh, as well. God. No, this, this is not that kind of show. Before. This is why I love my new job. So, it's, yeah. Oh, God. Your new yeah, plus let's leave the ranting to James. He does it better. <laughs> oh, no, no. Then, then you're going to set a bomb. Oh, God. No offense, James. I enjoy talking to you. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, last episode you guys agreed on something. That's scary. Yeah, that's a good sign. I don't know. Oh God, that's can't still... always be in conflict. <laughs> that is true. That's true. Uh, but still, but still, I mean, with this, every everyone's going to be happy. Um, Jen might Fresh be working heart. on something. Yeah, Jen might be working on something and stuff. And Rom, what do you think? Well, I'm glad to see some kind of progress is on his end. I mean, the guy is a good animator. I like his work. We all do. just sad to see that just kind of... That's not a word! ...happens. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Sweetie Bot, cut that word out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay! Sweetie Bot got his job. And it's Sweetie not from Bo- James. Sweetie Bot's voice activated now? Yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, since the new point five upgrade. Yeah. Uh, it's better than Yosemite. Yep. <laughs> uh, but still, but still, it's... Uh, this episode is going to be short unless we have a topic about... But anywho, since we're out of news, and then do you have time to hang out with us, or do you need to go? I have a while, yes, I suppose I can. I'm actually concerned about how I'm going to get into the office tomorrow morning, because I have no <laughs> idea where I put the keys. <laughs> well, since you have a bit of time, let's touch on this. Have any of you seen Rainbow Rocks yet? Nope, nope. I have not. Oh, okay. Um, then. No, they just uh, the, the stream was last night. Uh-huh. I I didn't have time to watch it though. Oh, interested in watching it? I'm going to watch it anyway, somehow, somehow or other. I mean, I'm I'm sick of staring at a TV that's <laughs> reading to me about Ebola and crap <laughs> all day long. So I need to oh, see some. Oh that 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 news on Ebola and zombies rising up. Oh, and it's happening in Africa. Reminds me of Resident Evil Five. <laughs> you got a point there. I know. And I hate making a point that's so, you know, I don't like it. But yeah. <laughs> and Rome, what about you? I uh, nope, haven't seen it. You forgot. Don't forget, I live in Potato Land. If anything happens up the world, we get it last. Oh. If we get it anyway. Okay, okay. So you and I'm not part, and I not don't support piracy. Hmm? Okay. I don't want to download no freaking cam rip or DVD rip. I want the real thing because I support the developer because I know how hard it is to make a buck these days. Oh yeah. Uh, all right, all right, all right. That's honorable of you. That's honorable of you. So, for you two who haven't seen it, um, any expectations? Very low, because that's how I like to keep it. If it's low and it's good, <laughs> and it's it's good. If it's high and it's good, then it's not good. Is there any place that we can read your rants? <laughs> uh, depends on when I watch it, but it'll probably be on Miso. Miso. All right, all right. And Rom, what about you? Any expectations? I'm hoping to see Vinyl Scratch break out the base cannon. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's not legit, yo. That's fandom. It's like a human edition. Like this, you know, it's in the human world and it's fully weaponized stuff. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, oh, no. That would be the Saints Row dubstep gun. Oh, God. Oh, God. That would be awesome. Oh, God. No. Only bigger and more shinier. Tabby, wow. wake up. Boom. Oh, uh, Rom, you are going to be excited. So anywho, uh, I'm not going to spoil things for you. All I can say is I've watched it and I've enjoyed it. And you know what? I don't mind watching it again. So the DVD is coming out pretty soon, I hope. So might get my grabby little hands on it. Yay. Excellent. 
<laughs> so anywho, uh, let's see. Moving on to the next topic since we got no guests, obviously, right? And let's see. Shout outs. <laughs> this is going to be one of those really short shout outs. I'm going to give a shout out to you then. Thank you for coming on. Oh, you're welcome. And to you, Rom. Thank you for coming on reading the news and stuff. My pleasure. And who else can I shout out to who is very important? Uh, you know what? Go to James. Oh, yes. James and Silver Quill. Thank you for joining me yesterday for recording the MBS show reviews. That's been a while since we touched on that. Woohoo! New episodes coming out this Thursday, so keep an ear out. Yay. And what about you, Dan? Me, shout out goes to. Good lord, I haven't done a shout out in months. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, shout out to both of you for keeping this show up. That's yep. really fantastic. And a uh, quick shout out actually down to um, Singapore, to the team that's working on this thing called the Klaus Deal Splash. Some people may have heard of it. Yep, it's already on uh, the PonyCons app. Singapore's mm-hmm. having another small event at the end of the year. And um, yeah, they're doing their best to get the things on the ground and running very, running quite smoothly at the moment. Hopefully things pick up. Oh, you go in? Of course, of course. Ooh, invite I mean, me. It, I want to join. It's, it's Singapore, yeah. Oh, I want to join. I want to join. I want to go there. Ooh. Why am I <laughs> going to ghost sound? It's not even Halloween. But anywho, yeah. It's almost Halloween. Yeah, true, true. But the event's not happening on Halloween, is it? Of course not. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. Uh, the dates are actually 20, 21st December, so ah. mark calendar. Oh, 21st. Whoa, wait. 21st December, CF is going to be 28th. Wow. Yep, right. One week before CF. Whew. So this is two day thingy, eh? Where are you going to stay, man? I have no idea. Uh, let's bunk together. That'll be fun, right? I'll probably sleep under the stage. I don't know yet. but <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to join me. Yay! We can eat Maggie's. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Anyway, Rome, what about you? Hi, Mom. Anyone and else? Thanks, everyone, for congratulating me on my 23rd birthday this oh, week. Happy birthday, Rome. Oh, happy birthday thanks. Appreciate it. You're two days late, but thanks anyway. Hey, it's better late than never. Oh, Indeed. yeah. Mm-hmm. 23 mm-hmm. years of age, man. I feel so old. Oh, <laughs> uh, yay. The old yay, people, I'm man. glad to be the, still be the youngest in the call. <laughs> I know a few people who are younger than you, man. Uh, Ben's was, yeah, when he was on. Oh, like, true, true. true. Right I want to advice, the ladies and gentlemen. Right now. I'm sorry? A word, word of advice, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your youth while it lasts. Mm-hmm. That is true. I attested that, yes. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Uh, you may you may hate your university, your school, or your college as much as I did, but <laughs> <laughs> screw university, enjoy your life. True that, and true I that. second that, I second that. If you have no, I quit, rage quit my college. <laughs> uh, rage and now quitting. following my dream to become an artist. Yay. <laughs> Weren't we all? Yep, yep. But anywho, uh, rich quitting aside and following your dreams, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, links are in the show notes. Email Dan. Complain to him about not coming onto the show that often. <laughs> uh, and also, you can reach us on Twitter. You can reach the show's Twitter account at the MBS show. Sudibot will tweet about stuff that she is going to complain about, like Rom quitting his Twitter account so she can't nag at him. What did I do? I didn't use the damn thing. Yeah, she's going to nag on you. Like, how how can she at you while you're not there? Use my Tumblr, for goodness sake. I she doesn't that. have a I Tumblr. Use... Well, make her make one. Oh, God, no. But anywho... We just yeah. upgraded her to voice commands. Why can't we upgrade her to Tumblr? No, uh... no, 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 no. You upgraded to DeviantArt. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> no, no, don't even start. Don't even let me... Don't even make me start on Deviant. <laughs> oh, God, no. You can also reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about things I like and stuff. And recently, like you haven't noticed, I've been on a magic kick. And it's my new addiction. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hardboard crack. I know. But anywho, then, how can we reach you? You can reach me at zero one. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just give a phone number. <laughs> okay. Nope. All right. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter at St. Pinky. S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. I speak when I'm spoken to, except when today when I was installing Yosemite. <laughs> Yeah, if you own a Mac, don't do it. And if you don't own a Mac, don't do it either. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, my, you know my Mac blew up, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, don't, yeah. Don't, don't put Yosemite on it either. <laughs> it, 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 it can explode twice, trust me. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Where else, man? Where else? Uh, me. Where else? Where else can they find me? Um, 
Good question. Where else can you find me? You can reach me at daniel at the mbsshow.com if you want to send me something personal or something you don't want the world to see. Otherwise, that's about it. You reach me on Facebook, there's a chance that you'll be... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I have this... Facebook has this... Uh, some inbox system where they send the messages from people you don't know like all over the place and then like important messages go in there not important messages go there as well so it's a huge mess yeah, yeah. thank you Zuckerberg yep yep <laughs> yes, I, should, I should shout out to Tim Cook and Zuckerberg for ruining my life <laughs> <laughs> uh, why not Hasbro at the same time too oh yeah Hasbro yeah <laughs> anywho Rome what about you you can find me at my tumblr reliciousgallery.tumblr.com you can find my artworks and drop me an ask if you have any questions or requests. I'll gladly draw your picture. Awesome, awesome. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com And thank Dan here for setting everything up. Without him, the show won't be on, on places. Yeah, like iTunes. Yep. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dan. Oh, yep. God. Thank you for thank you for thanking me and not Tim Cook. He doesn't deserve it. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dan. We need to do a thank Dan appreciation day one hey. day soon, soon. But anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Daniel Anthony. I am Real Mjold. Thank you all so much for listening to the podcast. Check out our website for more podcasts that we've done. And as always, we will see you on the next podcast. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye.